the latest in 2022. Nine recommended products from 7 Eleven. Samurai Junjiro Channel Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In this video, I'll be showing you some of the recommended products from 7-Eleven, the convenience store with the largest number of stores in Japan. I'll introduce 9 standard products and new products, so please stay tuned. There's also a preview of the next video at the end. Now, let's get started. Here we are at 7 Eleven. I'll start off with desserts. The first is cream puff. 7 Eleven's cream puffs are soft and fluffy in the dough. They are heavy because they are filled with cream. I love the eggy aroma of the dough. Let's break it open. There are two kinds of cream puffs inside. It's a whipped cream with a soft sweetness and a custard cream with a strong egg taste. It's creamy and delicious. Now let's move on to the next dessert. The second one I'd like to introduce is Dorayaki. Dorayaki is a typical Japanese dessert. They use honey in the dough so it smells great. The dough is fluffy and has a light texture. There's plenty of whipped cream and red bean paste inside. The cream is not too sweet and has a refreshing taste. The red bean paste is made from Hokkaido Azuki beans. It's smooth and goes perfectly with the cream. They taste even better when they are very cold in the fridge. That's all for dessert. Next, I'll introduce fried food. The third one is one of the most popular fried foods, fried chicken. 7-Eleven's fried chicken is made with 11 different spices, including chili powder and pepper. They even use basil as a secret ingredient, so it tastes fresh. Let's take a look inside. Chicken is juicy because it uses thigh meat. The gravy is overflowing. It's just as good as KFC's. Next up is the curry bread, which was just released last year. They are so popular that they are days they sell over 100 a day. They are fried in the store so you can enjoy the hot and crunchy texture. The dough is fluffy and moist. The curry is made with a lot of onions so it has a sweetness to it. The spiciness is just right. Now you know why they sell 100 a day. Next, I'd like to introduce you to some frozen foods. The first frozen food we are going to introduce is takoyaki. This is a product made in collaboration with Gindako, which boasts the largest number of takoyaki specialty restaurants in Japan. They are so particular about their takoyaki that they cook each one by hand. After opening the bag, put the sauce in hot water to heat it up. Once you peel off the package of the container that takoyaki is in, put it in the microwave to heat it up. Now it's heated up. Pour the sauce over the takoyaki. Finally, top with dried bonito flakes and green lava. Now it's done. You can't believe it's frozen food. These takoyaki are so perfect. It's hard to tell even if you compare it to the takoyaki in the restaurant. I love the sweet smell of the sauce. The dough is just as crunchy as at the restaurant. It's big and satisfying to eat. The inside of the dough is so soft and creamy. 
I love the texture of the larger octopus slices. I recommend putting mayonnaise on it. It's even creamier and tastier. Now, on to the next dish. The second frozen food I will introduce is a product in collaboration with Moko Tanmen Nakamoto. Nakamoto is a spicy ramen specialty restaurant with over 20 locations all over Japan. Open the bag and place the noodles on a plate. Remove the chili oil and heat it up in the microwave. Once it's heated up, move it to a plate and mix it up. Then, pour some chili oil with Chinese pepper over it and it's done! It's Moko Tanmen Nakamoto's Soupless Ramen! It smells so nice with the Chinese pepper! And just like in the restaurant, there's tofu in it too! It's so spicy that sweat is pouring out from the top of my head! The pepper gives it a numbing spiciness! But it's got flavor too. The noodles are chewy. It's spicy but addictive. Next, I would like to introduce fried rice. This fried rice is a collaboration with Sumire, a famous ramen restaurant in Hokkaido. Poke a hole in the bag with a fork and heat it up in the microwave. Here's the heated up fried rice. The ingredients are simple, such as eggs, pork, and green peas. Nice aroma of burnt soy sauce. The lard in this dish makes it taste so rich. The eggs and rice are so moist. The portion is large, so it's a great deal. I'm so happy to be able to get a taste of Hokkaido at a convenience store. Next, I'd like to introduce one of the most popular items in the 7-Eleven bento lineup. It's the kalubi bento, which is beef grilled over charcoal. The sweet and spicy sauce smells so good. So much beef, you can't even see the rice. I love that there are vegetables like bean sprouts and carrots in there too. The beef has just the right amount of fat. It's so moist and tender. The sesame seeds in the sauce are a nice accent. The rice soaked in the sauce is irresistible. The sweet sauce alone is enough to make me eat more rice. When eaten with meat and rice, it tastes even better. No wonder it's been one of the most popular products for a long time. Now, on to the next item. Last but not least, I would like to introduce ramen that is heated in the microwave and eaten. This ramen is a collaboration with Tomita, a ramen restaurant that has lines every day. Smells good like garlic. The soup has a rich soy sauce flavor. Plenty of bean sprouts and cabbage go great with the rich soup. The chashu pork is huge. I can't believe this is a convenience store ramen. It's so fatty. When you put it in your mouth, it melts and disappears. The noodles are thick and satisfying to eat. It's coated with thick soup and delicious. It's so satisfying. I'm happy with just this one bowl. That's why 7-Eleven is the best in Japan. Well, this time, I introduced 7-Eleven's popular products. In my next video, I'll introduce you to some of 7-Eleven's most premium 7-Eleven premium gold products. So please look forward to it. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.